myself, I won't be nervous speaking to all the great leaders here, but you know, my, nevertheless, do my best. Okay, guys, now, uh, first of all, um, you know, I want to thank, of course, you know, the Lord Almighty, and of course, I want to thank our great leaders, Ben and Ali Patal, and also my, my partner, Blanche Calamari, and the rest of the team. Our team today, by the way, is the RBT Maximizer, and we want to maximize everything that we have, our talent, and our agent. Okay, but <clears throat> prior to that, guys, I just want to say that, you know, I've been in this country for about seven years. You know, um, seven years and six years before that, before coming here, I was, I was an insurance agent. Okay, I used to sell cash value policies. Ooh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So that, I'm a convert now. <laughs> so I used to sell that and, uh, and uh, uh, I, I'm not proud to be selling that, but uh, I did pretty good at it in the last about 12 years. You know, because all I did was just selling insurance. Because I believe in the purpose of helping families, right? It's like when I'm in the giant comical, that insurance is not about dying, it's about people to go on living. So I believe in that, and I became pretty good at it until such time when my own family started complaining about the premiums that they were paying that it was increasing. <laughs> and I can't even really explain anything towards that. So I asked my friend who's an actor, you know, the actor that makes the rates and the risk, and then he told me, he said, Chandler, this thing don't really work. So I said to myself, what are we doing here? He said, you see many people. So I said, you know what, from then on, that's it. I'm not going to sell the, the cash value policy anymore, okay? So I just concentrated on the land life, which is now at home, okay? And three years after, uh, we moved into the States, and I said, okay, if I come here to the States, I want to make sure that I do something very good and legal. So I landed up in the mortgage business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but I, I thought I was good at it because I became a very good student when my boss told me, Chandler, you gotta get three points in the back, three points in the left, you make six points, that's legal here. I said, okay, let's go for it. So almost, almost each and every um, close, we did six points, and uh, we made pretty good money, but then, you know what, again, I didn't realize I was drowning people in debt. Okay? Then until someone told me, Chandra, did you know what we're doing here? He said, we're ripping people off, we're making money out of people's loans. I said, yeah? No, right? yeah. I said, see, I was on the rest of the boat. I became a very good student. You know? So, what I have said, you know what? This can't be me, okay? This is not the kind of life that I want to be. I don't think I can sleep making money in the of ripping people. So I said, I gotta do something else on the side. I gotta do something else that's really clear. And then this, this girl that came up to me and said, Chandler, I heard that you wanna do some part time business. I said, Yeah. And they said, This time you'll be selling only term. And I like the term. See, because in, in back in the country, in Philippines, nobody wants to sell term insurance because the, the commission for term is only 15%. Yeah. But she offered to me, Chandler, here, you can make 25%. I said, What? Let me in. 25%. <laughs> I did my research, I checked on the company, I never listened to you know, all the negative things in the, in the internet, but when I saw that you know, buy term and oversell this term, and the only company that sells term is Primerica, I said, you know what, this is good. This is the kind of business that I don't have to hide anything, you know, to keep the illustration from showing the guarantee, right? And if I don't you know what, that's it, now we Now, six months after that, uh, six months after I, I quit the, I, I became full-time in the business, and again, a very good student, he said, you know what, when you fire your boss, you got to hire a boss. So I did that. I hired my boss as well. I didn't want to leave the company without getting anybody with me. So I got my boss in the business. He didn't have any experience in life insurance, but you know, we trained him the best way we can. And he became my replacement. And uh, he's not going to have this year. And I'll see you so much again. Because there's things really happen that transform you know, in, you know, in Prime America if you believe in it. So I always say, you know what? Every day I get to believe in something good in Prime America. Now, during my first year, during my first year as full time, um, I met my charm in one of these uh, great events in convention. I don't know if you remember, but you know, I was very hungry about this business because I, I always, you know, I always succeed into something that I, I do. So I said, you know what, why don't I go to this person, to the, you know, to the most successful person in the business, and ask him for advice. So I ran towards him in the elevator, and uh, 
And yeah, I think you got scared of me because I was running right towards him. And I asked him for one advice. I said, Mike, what, how can you advise me in one word? So seriously, I'm hungry and I want to learn. I mean, both me, Chandler, Jeff, recruit. And he said, recruit. I said, oh my God, that's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I keep thinking about it, thinking about it every night, every night. You know what? I said, you know what? If he said recruit and he's very successful in this, I should do the same thing. So we did all the recruitment in that year, and I won the San Francisco trip. This was uh, the second year, and we, we won the trip. We were our, our premiums as a division were going up over like almost thirty thousand a month, and I said, "Wow, it's amazing." So the, the business is to be about recruitment. So on the on the San Francisco trip, I saw my chairman get out of the corner, and again I ran towards him and asked him, "Mike, I did the recruitment thing. What's the other advice you can give me?" And you know what he told me? Pray. <laughs> I can never forget that because I tell you guys how important prayer is because there are times in this business is that sometimes you get rejected, sometimes you feel discouraged, which is normal, right? But you know what? When you can pray and you know that you know that this 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 you know, guy who's there with you always believes in you and after you pray you'll feel strong again, you know. So I always do that when there's quiet times, I pray, I pray, and of course at the same time I write the circles. I pray I became an RVP and always write circles, always write circles. Every time you're lonely, you write circles, I tell you you'll feel better. I tell you, I tell you that. Okay? Now, and, and one more thing, uh, this is guy, one great leader that came to our office, his name is Raul Gitani, and uh, he shared something to us that also hit me and he said, you know, whether you are a, a district division or RL, it doesn't matter, really matter, but you have a contract. You get a contract of 50% at this rate, you guys can make money of that contract. And I was in the division at that time, and I was a little bit relaxing because I had a lot of team recruits. I said, what am I doing? I'm relaxing. See, I'm not doing what he's telling me. And he hit me by saying, you know what? We should not, we should always use that contract to make money. Don't, you know, don't let it be said that Prime Minister has said, make money because sometimes people give up and they say, you know what, I was there, but I didn't make anything, right? And exactly, it's because, it's because of us. So when, when, I, when I heard that, he said, you know what, this is, this is, you know, this is time for me to stop playing around, fooling around, you know what, I'll get to that contract, the RBP contract, and I'm going to make it happen. So on the third year, we got our, our RBP contract, and um, six months after we went to the convention, and uh, that, that was my first convention, attending a uh, you know, primary convention, and I didn't realize how big it was. And I see 40,000 people there, very excited. I see thousands of people there, earning over 100,000 income. I said, this is it. This made my mind clear. I said, you know what, I'm in the right business. All I gotta do is work hard. Turn this around, when we get back, we're gonna go from, you know, from this, what they said, from, from zero to hero, let's do, let's do this without any doubt. And true enough, in July of that month, we came up with 40 recruits, and, I, and our premium showed up to about 16,000. And from then on, we're, we're hitting about maybe like 16, 18, 20,000 a month with about 20 to 30 recruits. So we're, we're heading towards, I mean, a few months after, we, we got our, our watch, you know, our builder watch. And, uh, and uh, we're on track again on our, our, um, our ring, the power to the ring. Okay, and I look forward to that ring. But all of these things happen because because of the of the team and the team. And uh, <clears throat> and I'm so glad that this time is different now. We are more clear. Okay, we are now in tune with the team leaders of my team, and we are very determined and excited about where we are going. Okay, we got team leaders like the Dakanais. This um, he was my former boss, the first boss that I, I you know I, I got involved here in America. Because I didn't know any better. So what he said, you know what, hire the people that you know. So I hired my former boss, which is Calvert, the I, And right now, he's going crazy. He's becoming, he's going RL and becoming an RVP, hopefully, in a short a period of time. And we got, we got the Escoderos, we got the Llamas, we got the Vergaras, you know, we, we got the Tanglaos. I tell you, we are, we are growing. And we're very sure and determined to be in the, in the big game. Because I know the, the way to be in the big game is to be in the 30, right? So it's always a 30 by 30, and I know we're getting close towards that. So anyway, the last thing that I just want to impart to, to the new guys, especially to our team and to everybody new, is that we got to believe this is a real business. I came here, I, I love the crusade, I love the crusade, because the crusade is part of this. I came here because of the business, 
and I hope you treat it like a real business and make you know money from it and become profitable with it. Okay? So guys, thank you and uh, we'll see you at Godward and uh hope you have fun. Thank you. Good job, Tyler.